Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your graphics card. So the first thing you guys want to do is go into the description below and download EVGA Precision X1. It will be the first link in the description. Once you open it up, it should look something similar to this. Mine is just a little bit transparent so you can see the uh, cursor a lot better. So let's go over the things inside this program. This is your memory speed. So mine is currently running at 7000 megahertz. This is your GPU clock speed, which is, thir mine is running at 1350 megahertz. This is your voltage down here. You can increase the power of your overall graphics card, so what it maxes out to. So mine can max out at 100% power, but if you raise this, you can go to 112% power, which is, I think is the maximum for this program. So anyways, this is your fan speed. So my fan is currently running at 75% speed. It's rotations per minute are over here. So 3,750 rotations per minute. So anyways, let's get into overclocking. So the first thing you guys want to do is open up your calculator. And take this number right here. This is your clock speed for your graphics card. My, um, it might be the same. It might be different. It depends on your graphics card. So I would uh, put this number in here and then times it by 0.20. This is 20% of your graphics card right here. So put this number into your clock speed, 270, press enter, click apply. So currently, right now you guys are overclocking your graphics card. As soon as you press enter and apply, your graphics card is running faster than normal. And that means that you it will be running hotter than normal and so what you want to do is increase your fan speed all the way up to like 85 percent or even 90 or even 100 it depends on how hot it runs so i'm going to click apply and you guys might be able to hear my grass card in the background because it is freaking loud right now <laughs> it's super loud now you can see it's running at 4500 rotations per minute which is really fast Next thing you guys want to do is increase your actual memory speed on your graphics card. So I would increase this by like 750 or 1000, somewhere around there. Click apply. As you can see, it's running out now 7750 megahertz. And to safely overclock your graphics card so you don't completely crash your PC and lose all your progress on it. I would just increase your GPU speed right here by 10% each time. So the 10% of my GPU speed would take this number divided by 2. So divided by 2. 135. So that is 10% of my speed. So I would take 270 plus. So plus 270. 405. So I would increase this number to 405. Just enter and apply as you can see the number got bigger so it's running therefore faster and currently this is going 30 percent faster so my graphics card is going to perform 30 percent better in video games uh graphic design creating things video editing too and this is th probably the safest like i would not go above over 500 on like I would not go above eh, like 40% of your graphics card speed because that's the point where it will start like your screen. You'll start seeing like stars kind of bounce across your screen or your PC might crash. It starts getting like kind of unstable. So I like to keep it in the kind of like stable area. You might also want to increase your voltage to 15 and apply. This won't directly increase it, but that means it can go like um, it can increase its voltage without being like bottlenecked. And this is probably the best way to overclock your graphics card because it's stable and you're getting a plus 30% performance or even 40%. You guys can push and see, test your luck and see how far you guys can get before your PC crashes. But good luck to you guys and I'll see you in the next video.